the Alia family's love of London property and use of offshore financial secrecy to hide their wealth is mirrored by another political dynasty of the developing world, the Sharifs of Pakistan. The Prime Minister of Pakistan has been disqualified from office. The court also disqualified the country's finance minister, Ishaq Tar. This uh, verdict was unanimous. All the five judges declared that Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is not an honest and sagacious person and hence he should be disqualified. Nawaz Sharif is the three times elected Prime Minister of Pakistan. During his premiership in the 90s, Nawaz Sharif privatized many state-owned industries. The privatization policies which were initiated by uh, Mr. Nawaz Sharif during his stints uh, as Prime Minister during the 90s, that is the start of corruption where a lot of uh, state holdings they were portrayed as if they are making losses and then they were handed out to different uh, political backers of Nawaz Sharif, his friends and uh, his business associates. The government of Nawaz Sharif then passed a law that the tax authorities in Pakistan could not question the origin of money that entered Pakistan from abroad. One thing which we need to remember, and this is very, very important. When you're in the power, you can make laws according to your will. You can actually manipulate the system. You can tell, you can bribe the people. You can get cuts from wherever you want. And this is what the Sharifs has been doing. And this is what they've been accused over the years. It's a close-knit family affair. In the case of Hudabia paper mill, once you look at the directors and shareholders, it's only the entire Sharif family, uh, the immediate blood relations, and a few cousins who are also mentioned as directors. To look at uh, the shareholding of Ramzan Sugar Mill, that gives you an idea that it is uh, run by Chief Executive Officer Mr. Hamza Shabash Sharif. Shabash Sharif is a younger brother of Nawaz Sharif. He was the leader of the Punjab Assembly while his brother was Prime Minister. He is accused of laundering tens of millions of dollars through the Ramzan Sugar Mill, a company owned by the Sharif family. Accounts were opened in the name of these low-level, low-wage employees who do not come into the tax net. Money used to be deposited in those accounts and finally they used to land in the accounts of either Mr. Hamza Shahbaz Sharif, Mr. Suleiman Shahbaz Sharif or Mr. Shahbaz Sharif himself. In fact, uh, these files which you see here, it gives the names, it gives the banking do documents, the chalans, everything which is mentioned in these, uh, all the banking records.